Hello, I am Sai with Healthy Fit Self, and today I wanted to talk with you about sprints, why I do them, a couple of the benefits, and why you might want to consider doing them, and maybe even as a replacement for your normal cardiovascular work, for example, like jogging. So I love sprints, and I really want to share from that perspective. I've done sprints off and on for many years, but the more recently, I've completely replaced my 5K runs with doing only sprints during the week. And they really do something for your overall body. They kind of give you the look of somebody who is an athlete. And I'm sure that you've seen sprinters versus long distance runners. Generally, sprinters look like they have a lot of muscle. They generally, maybe you might th associate sprinters with six pack abdominals, um, but there's they really give your whole body a workout. In fact, they're very good for your glutes and for your hamstrings, which are things that a lot of people miss in their normal workout routines. And uh, they just give your body an overall strong look, but they also make you feel powerful. So I want to tell you about a little experiment that I did and I'm gonna tell you exactly how I do my sprints so that maybe if you want to try them, you can do them too. And the experiment was I had been doing 5Ks regularly for approximately two years, maybe more, once per week. And so for me, that seems like doing 5Ks pretty consistently. And uh, I did get some pretty decent times for me because, um, well, bottom line is, is I've done an under a 21 minute 5k. Um, I haven't beat 20 minutes yet, but uh, 21 45, 21 50 is 21 minutes, 50 seconds is about my average. So I wanted to see what if I just did these sprints at in a certain way, would I be able to come back later and still do a 5k at a decent time after not doing them for a while? So I took two months off of doing my 5Ks and I just did my sprint exercises along with my regular workout, which does include weight training. And when I went back and did the 5K, I got a 21 minute and 50 second 5K. So I was able to maintain, which proved that my hypothesis was right. So um, that was very cool for me because 5Ks, although I like to do them sometimes, they are intimidating and um, especially if you're trying to run fast or beat your time, uh, they really are kind of taxing on your body. And it was, after I did my 5K, I will admit that because I'm not really conditioned to do 5Ks right now, that I did feel muscle soreness in different places, including my quads. It wasn't bad, I recovered within a couple of days pretty fully. The bottom line is, is that I could still do those five, that 5K at a similar time to my regular times without doing them regularly. So I believe the science has shown something like this, approximately two sprints, maybe twice per week at 100% effort for about 30 seconds can give you as good of a cardiovascular conditioning as doing regular 20 minute jogs, for example, a few times a week. It's something like that. So I don't usually do a full 30 second sprint. That is pretty long for a sprint, um, especially if you're going all out, but I keep mine to about maybe 15 to 20 seconds, but it's more based on how my body feels. And I'm gonna tell you exactly how I do them and how I warm up for them. But those four 15 second to 20 second sprints really keep me in good shape cardiovascularly and they make me feel really powerful. I feel like sprints make your body feel full of vitality and they kind of make you feel basically like a, a super being because your athletic ability increases with sprints. The main thing to remember when you're starting off doing these kinds of sprints, you want to make sure that you start slow because you have to develop your fast twitch muscle fibers and they develop more and more over time, but it can take several weeks for them to really reach a point where you can go as fast as your potential is. 
So you want to be aware of that. Start slow. Don't try to overdo it. You don't want to injure yourself. And a little stretching and a little warm up is important as well. And I'm going to show you exactly the simple stretching and warm up that I do so that you will understand exactly what you need to do to make to get the same results for yourself. So start slow. I do a jog warm up and this is a very light jog. What I'm doing is going it's just very slow. It's enough to get my body warmed up and I do it for maybe a minute or two. If you need a little longer, you can take a little longer, but you're not using your, you're not pushing yourself in this jog. You're just warming your body up. And if you have another way to warm up that you like, that's fine too. That's what I do. And then once I've done that, I'll do some very light stretches and I will also do maybe a couple of these very light stretches between my sprints. But before my first sprint, I'll do this. It's very simple. Just take one leg, put it out here, and you're gonna kind of lean into it. You don't have to keep your back perfectly straight, but kind of straight. You're gonna push your weight down into your heel with your heel up first, and you're gonna feel it all through here and in your hamstring and in your calf. And then you're also gonna put it down and you're gonna put the weight all the way forward and kind of lean into it more. You're gonna feel it in a slightly different places. And that's kind of, exactly what I do on both legs. So you're just basically warming up this area. And then I'll also maybe do this here. So I'm just getting a little bit of a quad stretch here. And then the other stretch that I like to do that I feel like really warms me up well is to go like this here. So you can put your toe underneath, you can put your toe up, but you're going to try and feel it all through here. So reach up high and just put a little bit of weight on this back toe, whether it's up or curled under, so that you can get that full stretch. And you do that with both sides. So those are pretty much the only stretches I do during my sprint and when I'm getting warmed up. And then when I start my first sprint, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off at more of a jog pace because I'm getting in my first sprint, I don't wanna to go too hard. I don't wanna be explosive on my first sprint because I don't wanna get injured. So I'm letting my body even warm up more on my first sprint. So I'll start off kind of like a fast jog and then I'll increase my speed as I'm in my sprint to the point where I'm going at 100%. And once I reach 100%, I will go until my legs start to feel like they're getting rubbery or they're just, not feeling as coordinated. And that's about when I'll stop because I don't want to stumble. So then for the next three sprints, I will do them at 100% and I'll do explosive starting off. But remember, as you're getting used to these, you don't want to necessarily go explosive from the get-go because you want to get your body used to using explosive speed and getting those fast twitch muscle fibers developed. So the bottom line is, is that start slow, increase as your body feels ready, and kind of test yourself out with these explosive starts um, as you're warmed up already, and as you're getting more proficient at your sprints. So that pretty much is how I do my sprints, and I do four of them, I do them twice a week. There is one other important thing to remember, and that is that between those sprints, you probably can take about a minute and a half to two minutes between the sprint intervals. But what I like to do is just wait, I'll walk or do a little stretch until my body feels inspired to sprint again. And that's one of the things that I've noticed about sprinting is that it makes you feel inspired. Your body wants to sprint again. And uh, if you don't get that the first time you do it, I believe that almost everybody gets that over time. So it's a great feeling. You feel like you really recover almost fully between sprints and then you do another all out sprint. And it doesn't take very long before you really are proficient at sprints and this can just become a regular part of your routine for you. So that's my word on sprints. I think it gives you a great body. It really is good for your cardio cardiovascular health. It makes you feel like you have great athletic ability. And um, I just wanted to share my experience with you so that maybe you could try it if you hadn't been doing it. And then I just wanna finish by asking you, 
Are you going to try sprints? And if you do, I'd like to hear what your results are. And if you're somebody who always uh, already does sprints regularly, um, can you share with us what your results are and what you like about doing sprints? And that's pretty much it for the video today. I hope you enjoyed it. My name is Sai again. I'm with Healthy Fit Self, and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video.